started on the third section of our girly afghan. We're going to get started on our first round and we're going to be using our ninth alternate color. So for that I'll be using white and it says to insert your hook into the chain two space in the corner then to draw up your yarn in chain one. I'm just going to work a standing puff so to do that Wrap the yarn around your hook a couple of times, insert your hook into the chain two space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same chain two space, yarn over and draw up a loop. And do that one more time, yarn over, insert into that same chain two space, yarn over, draw up a loop. And then we're going to yarn over and draw through six loops on our hook. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. That's our standing puff. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to work a puff in that same chain two space. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Do that three times, so that was once, twice, three times, and then with seven loops on our hook, yarn over and draw through all those seven loops. Now we have a little repeat across our edge. We're going to chain one, skip the next half double crochet. So we want to make sure this is our first half double crochet. We're actually going to be skipping that one, working in this next one right here. So it doesn't look like you're really skipping one. We're going to work a puff. So remember, seven loops on our hook for a puff and we're going to repeat that across so chain one skip the next half double crochet working in the next work a puff seven loops on our hook continue repeating that across chain one skip the next puff in the next and I will meet you at your first corner over here. Here I am at the corner and I just worked a puff in that last half double crochet before my chain two space here. Now we're going to chain one and then we're going to work a puff in that chain two space. So seven loops on our hook we draw through all chain two one two and then work another puff in that same chain two space now you can continue on with your little repeat across remember skipping only that first half double crochet working in the next a puff and repeating that across you really got to make sure that you work this first one in the right stitch. Don't skip two because this one is hidden underneath this puff right here. Right there. Make sure that's the only one you skip. I just made this mistake. You'll know that you did it right by making sure that this last puff before you chain two space is worked in that last half double crochet. Continue repeating that around and I will meet you at the end of the round. That's some squeaky yarn. Here we are at the end of the round. I just finished with a puff in that last half double crochet there. I need to chain one and then we're going to join with the slip stitch to our beginning puff and so this is our chain space right here. So if we look at the puff right here and here, there's two strands we can work under and the tail. And then we can join with that slip stitch and fasten off this white. That completes this round of work. Getting started on round two of the third part of our afghan here. We will be using our first alternate color, for me that's guava, 
And we're going to start by working a standing puff in a corner chain two space. So yarn wrapped around your hook a couple of times, insert into your chain two, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into that same chain two space, yarn over, draw up a loop, do that one more time, yarn over, insert into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through six loops on your hook. That's our first standing puff. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to work a puff in that same chain two space. So seven loops on our hook for a puff. We have a little repeat across. We're going to skip the next chain one space, chain one, and then work a puff V stitch in the next chain one space. So to do that, we wanna work a puff. So seven loops on our hook for a puff, chain one, and then puff in that same chain one space. There's our puff, and that is our puff V stitch. We're going to repeat that across, so chain one, skip the next chain one space, small, or sorry, puff V stitch in the next chain one space. Here, so we puff with seven loops on our hook, chain one, and then puff in that same chain one space for our puff V stitch. Continue repeating that across, chain one, skip one, puff V stitch in the next, and I will meet you over at the corner. Okay, so here I am at my corner. I just finished working a puff V stitch in this chain one space. There's one chain one space left before my corner chain two space. And then I also have a chain after that puff V stitch. Now in the corner, we're going to work a puff. So seven loops on our hook for that puff. Chain two, one, two. And then we're going to work a puff in that same chain two space. Then you can continue repeating your along your edge. Chain one, skip one chain one space, puff V stitch in the next. Continue repeating that around. And I'll meet you at the end of the round. I snagged that one there. Here we are at the end of the round. To, I just finished with a chain one after this puff V stitch. We can join with a slip stitch to our beginning puff. So you can see we have the chain two right here. And then at the top of this puff under those two strands in the tail, we're going to join with a slip stitch. We can fasten off this guava and that completes this round of work. Getting started on round three, I'm going to be using my sixth alternate color, which is Ombre Violet. And to get started, we're going to work a half double crochet in a corner chain two space. So I'm doing a standing half double crochet. And then we're going to work three more half double crochet in that same chain two space. So that was one, two, and then three. Now we're going to work five double crochet in that same chain two space. One, two, three, four, and then five. We're going to draw up a little loop, remove our hook, 
insert it into that beginning, half double crochet, back into your working loop, tighten, and draw up a loop. That's our little corner flower that we've made there. Now we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. In our next small puff V stitch in that chain one space, we're going to work a tulip. To work a tulip, we're going to work three half double crochets. There's one, two, and then three. Now we're going to work four double crochet in that same chain space. So there's one, two, three, and then four. Draw up a little loop, remove your hook, insert it into that beginning half double crochet, back into your working loop, tighten, and draw up a loop. That's our tulip. Now we have a little repeat across our edge. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to work a tulip in that next chain one space of our puff V stitch here. So we want to work three half double crochets. There's one, two, And then three. Now we're going to work four double crochet in that same chain space. So there's one, two, three, and then four. Draw up your little loop, remove your hook, insert it into that beginning half double crochet, back into your working loop, tighten, and draw up a loop. That's the little repeat. Continue repeating that across chain four, working a tulip in the chain one space of that puff V stitch. Continue repeating that until you get to this one and I'll meet you there. Here we are at the corner. This is the chain two space in our corner here. And I just worked a tulip. Now after this last tulip here, we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then in this corner chain two space, we're going to work four half double crochets. There's one, two, three, and then four. Now we're going to work five double crochet in that same chain two space. So there was one, two, three, four, and then five. Draw up a little loop, remove your hook, insert it into that beginning half double crochet, back into your working loop, tighten, and draw up a loop. Now after this corner flower, we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Working a tulip in that next puff V stitch. So three half double crochets. Four double crochet in that same chain space. And then how many was that? So we got one, two, three, one, two, three. So one more. Draw up a little loop, remove your hook, put it into that first half double crochet, back into that working loop, tighten and draw up a loop. Now we're back to our repeat across our edge. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Working a tulip in the next puff V stitch. Continue repeating that around, and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here I am at the end of the round. I just finished with a tulip here. Now we need to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can join 
with a slip stitch to our beginning flower. To do that, you'll see you have the chain six right here. And then I gotta get the camera out of my face. And right in here, you can join with a slip stitch and fasten off the six alternate color and that completes this round of work. Getting started on round four of our work, we'll be using our seventh alternate color. I'll be using True Blue, which is one of the ombre yarns. And I am in my corner here, this flower right here. And to get started, we have a repeat for this round. The repeat is to work a single crochet in the scent, like in the top of that tulip, corner tulip there. And for my first one, I have to work a standing single crochet. On your repeats, you can just work a single crochet. And then we're going to chain one, single crochet in the chain six space, chain one, single crochet in that same chain six space, chain one and then single crochet in the top of the next tulip. Now we have a repeat across our edge, a little repeat. To do that we're going to chain one, single crochet in the next chain four space, chain one, single crochet in the top of the tulip. Continue repeating that across, chain one, single crochet in the chain four space, chain one, single crochet in the top of the tulip. Continue repeating that until you get to the last tulip before your corner and I'll meet you there. Here we are at the corner, I just finished with a single crochet in that tulip and we are at our chain six space so I'm going to chain one single crochet in that chain six space, chain one, single crochet in that same chain six space, chain one, and that's the repeat for this round. You'll continue by working your single crochet in that next corner tulip. Continue repeating that around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here I am at the end of the round. I just worked those two single crochets in there. There's a chain one, and now we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning single crochet. And we can fasten off this true blue that completes this round of work. Getting started on round five, I'm going to be using my ninth alternate color. And it says to actually draw it up in the last round, but I'm going to work a standing triple crochet. And uh, we're going to get started on the repeat for the round. We need to work four triple crochet in that single crochet that we joined in our last round. So for my first one, I'm going to be working a standing triple crochet with my yarn wrapped around the hook a couple of times, insert into that single crochet and work a triple crochet. So that's our first one. Now we need to work three more. So there's two, three, and then four. Chain one, and then work four more triple crochet in that same single crochet. So there's one. two, three, and then four. Now we're going to work a slip stitch in the chain one space from round two. So right in here, only working in round two, work a slip stitch. Now we're going to skip 
the next two single crochets, so these two single crochet that were worked in that chain six space, we're going to skip those. Working in the next, actually, this is the start, yeah, this is the start of our little repeat across our edge. So in this single crochet, we're going to be working four double crochets. One, two, three, and then four, chain one, and then work four more double crochet in that same single crochet. So there's one, two, three, and then four. Now we're going to slip stitch in that chain space from round two and in, only in that round a slip stitch. That's the little repeat. So continue repeating that across. Oh, sorry, included in that little repeat, we have to skip this single crochet here in this chain four, and then you get started on your repeat by working in this single crochet, your four double crochet. Continue repeating that across, and I will meet you at the corner when you work in the last tulip. Don't work it in the corner. I'll meet you over here at the corner. Here we are at the corner. I just finished with a slip stitch in that chain one space from round two before my corner flower here. And at the end, we're going to skip those two single crochets that are in that chain six. Working in the next single crochet is where you will start the beginning of your repeat. And it was four triple crochets. So there's one. Two. Three. four, chain one, and then work four more, triple crochet in that same single crochet. So stitch in that next chain one space from in round two, continue repeating that around, working triple crochet in the corner and your double crochet along your edge, and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. I just finished with a slip stitch in this chain one space, and to finish, we can join with a slip stitch to our beginning triple crochet. And make sure that this is pretty tight, that you don't add any extra in there. And then we can fasten off this white, and that completes this round of work. Getting started on our sixth round of work, I am using my seventh alternate color, which is my Ombre True Blue. And to get started for this round, we're going to be working in round four which is this blue round that's kind of hidden. We have to bring these shells from round five out of the way. And in this spot here, to, this is our corner where we work the triple crochets. To the left, you'll see that you work two single crochets in that chain six space with a chain space between them. We're going to be working in that chain space getting started on our repeat for the round, three triple crochets. So my first one, I'm working a standing triple crochet. And then we need to work two more triple crochet in that same chain space. So there's two.
and then three. Now we're going to single crochet in the chain one space from round five. Now we have a little repeat across our edge. Getting started on the little repeat, we want to expose round four, and you'll notice there's a single crochet in that chain four there. We're going to work three triple crochet in that single crochet. So there's one, two, and then three. Single crochet in the next chain one space. That's the little repeat across. Three triple crochet in that single crochet from round four. And then single crochet in the chain one space. Continue repeating that across until you get to right here before your corner and I'll meet you there. Here we are at the corner. I just finished with that single crochet in the last double crochet shell chain space and then we have these two single crochet in the chain six we're going to work three triple crochet in there so there's one hold on my yarn is caught up on something there we go There's two, and then three. Now we're going to chain one, single crochet in that chain space between those triple crochets, chain one, and that's the repeat for the round. It brings you back around to where we started, and you're going to start with that triple crochet. Continue repeating that around, and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. To finish off, we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning triple crochet. <laughs> Kids are home from school. That completes this round of work. Do not fasten off this yarn, because we're going to pick it back up, or use it in the next round. Getting started on round seven, we have a repeat for this round, and our repeat is to work a double crochet in the next three triple crochets. So you can see here, we have these triple crochets. We joined in this one, and for our first repeat, we're going to have to start with a chain three to make our first double crochet. And then when you come around for your other repeats, you'll just work a regular double crochet. And we need to work a double crochet in those next two triple crochets. We're going to double crochet in the next single crochet. Next, we're going to half double crochet in the next 79 stitches. So before I do that, I actually want to count out 79 stitches. So I'm in this one, and looking at the top, you can see your little V's here. Count out 79 of those. You're gonna come across your edge, and right before this last double crochet shell with this single crochet in it, this is our 79th stitch right here. This way I don't have to count them all out. But we're going to work a half double crochet in each of those stitches across, 79 of them. Do that and I will meet you at that stitch marker. Okay, I'm just about to do my 79th half double crochet. And we're just before the single crochet in this last sh double crochet shell here. Now next, we're going to work a double crochet in that single crochet. And then it says double crochet in the next three triple crochets. So there's one double crochet. Two. And then three. Get some yarn there. Now, it says three triple crochet in the chain one space. 
So we have this chain one space right in here. We're working three treble crochets. I think I messed that one up. So there's one triple crochet, two, and then three. Now it says triple crochet in the single crochet. So this one in the corner here, we're working a triple crochet. Now we're going to chain one. And then we're going to triple crochet in that same single crochet at the top there. Now working in the next chain space, three triple crochets. So there's one. Two. And then three. That brings us back around to our repeat where we start working in that first triple crochet here, a double crochet. So continue repeating that around and I will meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. I just worked those three triple crochets in that chain space. And to finish off, we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning double crochet, which was that chain three. And then we can fasten off this true blue and that completes this round of work. That brings us to the end of this section. Stay tuned for more. For more crochet patterns, tutorials, and yarn shop, please visit my blog, dearestdebbie.com.